This is our world. We want to be able to measure everything on it accurately and to servo precise distances. But how closely can we actually look? Here's the global scale where we can see continents and oceans. Here's the city scale where we can see cities, mountains, rivers, and highways. Here's the creature scale where we can see people, animals, plants, cars. Here is the insect scale where we can see ants, rice, and grains of dirt and sand. Some feedback devices stop here, being able to measure only the distances, the size of dirt and sand at their very best. At Delta Tau, however, we've learned to look so deeply into our world that we can measure and servo to sizes even smaller than a helium atom's diameter. That is, less than 62 picometers. Need extreme resolution for your application? Delta Tau can provide it. Sinusoidal encoders are becoming increasingly common for high resolution, high performance systems, but the processing electronics must be adequate to the task. Delta Tau has been a leader in the interpolating processing electronics for these sign encoders for almost two decades now. We are adding yet another generation to our leadership in this technology. The sinusoidal encoder interfaces in PowerPMAC are designed to accept a sine and a cosine wave, one volts peak to peak magnitude, centered about zero volts, and exactly 90 degrees out of phase with one another. The interpolator will accept these signals directly and then divide each line of the encoder into 65,536 individual distinct states. This provides for an unprecedented level of resolution in a feedback device. With our test hardware even, we are able to measure 30.5 picometers, which is slightly above the radius of the helium atom. The signals are measured using flash ADCs, which we are reading at 20 megahertz, a thousand times faster compared to the previous interpolator. To give you an idea of the extreme scale to which PMAC can servo when using the autocorrecting interpolator, we will have the stage move a distance equal to the size of commonly recognizable objects. First, the size of a baseball. Then, the length of a carpenter ant. The diameter of a grain of sand the width of a human hair, the diameter of a red blood cell, and the radius of the helium atom. Although it may not be immediately obvious to the naked eye, in this demonstration, the stage is actually moving half a micron at a time, stopping completely, and then moving another half a micron, continually and repetitively. So this is a plot of the actual position of the stage versus time as it performs the half micron move and hold pattern. At a glance, the actual position appears to be just a line, meaning the stage was simply moving continually in one direction. But if we look much closer, you can observe that in fact, the stage is moving in half micron increments, stopping and then moving another half micron continually in one direction. With the autocorrecting interpolator, PMAC's ability to move a stage in half micron and smaller increments demonstrates its usefulness in the field of manufacturing inspection at very small scales. Even if you do not need to make use of this extreme level of resolution, you can still take advantage of the auto-correcting features of the interpolator, which yield a higher fidelity position feedback signal than any other feedback device in the world. The interpolator automatically identifies any nonlinearities present in the feedback signal, whether it may be gain mismatch between the sine and cosine signals a phase mismatch, meaning that the two signals are more or less than 90 degrees apart, or an offset, meaning that either of the signals are not centered around zero volts. The interpolator then automatically corrects for any of these nonlinearities, yielding a perfectly circular Lisa Zhu figure and a much higher fidelity feedback signal. If the offsets are not compensated, the position calculation error will be much higher than the 1% range defined in the specification of the encoder. For comparison purposes, we also have a six-axis hexapod stage produced by Alio Industries, which also has sinusoidal encoders. You will be able to observe, without the use of the auto-correcting interpolator, the Alio stage, despite having high-quality encoders, will not have the same position fidelity that our smaller stage with the autocorrector on it. Each deviation can cause position calculation errors and nonlinearities, which produce torque ripple, velocity ripple, and ultimately vibration on the axis. By eliminating these nonlinearities, we can guarantee a much smoother velocity profile, which permits more reliable, vibration-free moves. 
the noise level on the analog signal can affect the readings drastically. We can actually use a digital filter in order to get rid of any noise that is making it through our ADC after our analog filters. The compensation will adjust sample data requirements and filtering based on the input data frequency. This means that the degradation of higher frequency signals will also be compensated by this hardware, allowing us to maintain good position quality even at higher speeds or frequencies. In other words, the interpolator will adjust based on how quickly you're moving your axis. As part of identifying and eliminating nonlinearities in the position feedback signal, the autocorrecting interpolator is continually computing high quality velocity and acceleration values from the encoder signals. It is possible to use these values for feedback, which would provide superior performance since these values have less time delay and less time jitter than those obtained by PMEC through single and double numerical differentiation of position values. This means by using the auto-correcting interpolator, you will not only have a higher fidelity position signal, but the velocity and acceleration used in the servo loop will also be cleaner and more reliable as well. Even if you aren't making use of the extreme resolution that this device offers. This high degree of position feedback resolution is useful for many applications, whether it be scientific research, scanning of LCD screens, any application requiring reliable, high-resolution feedback. With the new auto-correcting interpolator, we can achieve the same or better positioning with a sinusoidal encoder that costs one-fifth or less of a higher-resolution encoder. Delta Tau's new auto-correcting interpolator provides dramatically improved resolution and accuracy. This gives machine builders newfound confidence in the fidelity of their position feedback, allowing them to achieve unprecedented levels of machine performance.